Okay, paper's there. So here what I'm going to do is just gently unwrap it. Here we are. See how oily it is. That's all the cannabinoids on there. Gently, gently. Don't want to rip it. It's not a good example. It's really, really oily. And that is going to go to the side because I can use that later on. So, how you put a sheet in there is you've got the gum line there. You fold the gum line backwards. So there's the gum line there, then you fold it again, but you fold it where you want the roach part to be, where your filter is going to be, like that. So this is actually the back part, and then you fold it again from the bottom part, and then what you do here is put the glass then, just measure it up to there, so about that height there. that fits into here so what we're going to do here is that we have trusted tool round stick and we are going to put it in from the gum side wrap it around the stick like so Tastes really nice actually. Mm. So here, now you've got this part here. I'm going to fit it into there. And then you're just going to shake it about and open up the Rizla sheet. So you can see. It's actually fitted in there nicely. You can still see the holes down in the bottom. Four holes there. Let's see through here. There we go. So now you've got your sheet in there. And then what we do is where's our flowers? Our lovely flowers in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, put your glass down. And I'm going to put this piece in there like so. Oops. Okay. And then I want to pop this into here. Like so. Turn it on. Both at the same time. There you go, it flashed. It's turning on. So, there we are. Let's put that aside. So, now this one, um, the last one, like the last one, I left this one um, as a whole bud the whole flower lump and then I've put that into there and um, that's just so that 
just to show you that how it decarbs it on the top throughout it's a nice nice device I reckon it, I recommend this highly that's a nice affordable price as well let's turn this up to green we're on the green setting that's the third setting the first is the blue then it's white then it's green then it's red so we are on green so thank you for joining me for uh, my review of the Ariza dry herb vaporizer big shout out to Ariza so this one is actually called the Ariza air um, the Ariza air model you have got an upgraded version to this one with a digital screen here which is the Ariza air 2 or you've got the previous models to this one which are slightly more bulkier but you've got uh, those ones are called Ariza Air uh, is the one that I had with it's got um, uh, buttons that you press to whichever setting you would like it to to be at and the upgrade from that version which I was introduced to by Brighton Cannabis Club was the Ariza Air which is a slightly uh, bulkier one than this one with the bigger battery and it had a digital display uh, this version came out after that one which was uh, which is this version without the digital display it's called the Ariza Air and then the upgraded version from this one is called the Ariza Air 2 uh, with the digital display and you can measure exactly what number temperature you want it at what you prefer to vape it at so smelling that I can smell the tubs very um, sweet orangey I smell oranges orangey bit of citrus yeah, definitely orange. The orange bud. I can't remember what strain this was. Enjoy the types of the XL. Wow, straight off you can taste taste the turps very very nice very very pure flavor coming through very pure very very <laughs> look I'm losing tongue <laughs> very very pure pure flavor coming through that's really really tasty Got this little well piece on there here's my magical bubbler Magical bubbler adapter in there. Fix that on there. Perfect. Just hold it. Hold it there. And enjoy the taps on the exhale. And thank you for joining me for my channel as well. First Mayor Green of the UK. For any of you that's joining in now, I'm your host, Mayor Green of the UK cannabis community. Peace, blessings, and good health. Let's enjoy the turps on the XL. So much orange. One of my favorite fruits.
Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, very, very tasty. Remember, people, ladies and gentlemen, hashtag GYO, cannabis organically. Grow your own cannabis organically. Always, always, always. This is proper time to relax me. I can feel my back relaxing. Back pain has calmed down. My anxiety is, is there's no more anxiety anymore. Not for the time being. So much flavor, I think I'm gonna turn it up slightly. Go on to orange, which red. Enjoy the turbs on your exhale. so tasty so much flavors coming through very very nice wow so much vapor production so this is the Ariza Air by Ariza. They've got a nice, uh, a few good range. Um, I think the, the latest one that they did a, a little while back was the Ariza Air Go. So, so tasty. <clears throat> mm. So guys, check out the Ariza. Ariza is very, very nice. And please do, any of you guys that already have an Ariza and with the glass stem system or any other device that uses a glass stem, please, please, please do try out this method making your own uh, therapeutic cannabinoid infused papers rolling papers um, very very a good idea here um, this one I've, I've got this is how I originally started off making my medicated papers and then I went on to dab rigs and then using the dab pens and cleaning out dab pens with that but this way um, your your rolling papers are actually collecting the cannabinoids that are Heated up down at the bottom, activated cannabinoids, they're all coming up the glass stem and into your mouth. But before they even get into your system, they're actually collecting onto the ro rolling papers here. So, uh, before you, you've even tried it, um, your papers are getting all the cannabinoids into there. So, those are your cannabinoid infused rolling papers. And please, please, please do give it a go. And I'm sure, like myself, it will help you when you roll up with the uh, cannabinoids infused rolling papers. Then your method of consuming, the amount that you consume, it cuts down. For me, personally, this is one that I did earlier on from medicated paper. And as you can see, that it's got the oils on the inside of the papers 
So I've just rolled up peel. That's my joint there. That's my joint of the day. Um, it's quite late now. Um, so if I don't finish that now, I'll finish it tomorrow. I'm in no rush. I'm not craving for it. I'm only consuming it to provide me therapeutic pain relief um, to satisfy my CBD1 and CBD2 receptors. Uh, my doctors know that I consume cannabis because, uh, um, as I was talking about the cannabis cream from Farm Slaves, um, good company within the community, um, their medicine, their, their full spectrum, full plant extract, uh, cannabis balm cream, um, the healing component, um, the healing component range, they, uh, that cream uh, has um, coconut oil in it and it's also got so many different flowers and so many herbs in there um, and that is topped off with CBD isolate now that cream is what I'm using around my open wound ulcers that I have on both of my ankles um, at the time when I started using it it was by Hempress Rising um, and they you know lovely people and uh, um, her medicine works fantastic what it did is that I, I start rubbing it around the ulcer because I can't it's very very t sensitive so there's a hole like that inside my ankle and um, caused by cellulitis and some problems with blood circulation that was caused by an insect bite when I used to work for DHL back in 2008 so um, it causes inflammation and uh, um, um, let it lean on to um, cellulitis and uh, inflammation in my legs um, and the uh, chronic illness with the uh, burning pains. So my legs feel like uh, they're on constant fire, they're burning on the inside constantly. Um, and I can feel the if and pain of just learned to calm myself down through cannabis and this has helped me calm down and help take the edge off the uh, edge of the pain so for me this is a life changer do get yourself a dry herb vaporizer for you that don't have it or want to experience um the proper flavors proper terpenes of the flowers that you want to consume whatever strain it is remember whatever strain it is it's hemp cannabis whatever you pot, weed, ganja, you know, spliff, joint, whatever you want to call it, um, it's all cannabis sativa L, that's what, that's what it is, it's just different parts of that cannabis sativa L that is differentiated into different strains, so please, please give it a check out, um, and for those of you that use the Ariza, give this method a go with your own cannabinoid infused papers and I guarantee you you won't regret it peace blessings and always always be positive always be helpful always be kind doesn't hurt to be kind doesn't hurt to be respectful check this out so you can see that it's decarbed it because I've turned it up slightly so it's sort of decarbed it a bit more down here but as you can see remember don't touch it because it's baking hot as you can see, it's still a bit green down there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try and take this out. As you can see, the puck came out and it rolled off. There you go. So can we see this now? that little pup there has just decarved it you can see down a little bit like that well you get the idea so now I'm going to turn this backwards and pop it back in oops it is you always see me doing clumsiness like that there you go pop that in there like so and where's the eraser? There we go. Pop this back on again. 
So a vapor light, vaporizer like this, as you can see, 10 minutes about roughly stays on before the, before the cutoff comes on. Um, and it switches it off. 10 minutes is a good time for you to gain all your cannabinoids. I mean, I am totally feeling relaxed now from how I started off earlier. So those of you who are just joining in, thank you for joining in. I'm Mayor Green of the UK Cannabis Community. And welcome to my channel, First May Green of the UK. So, we've got our flowers here. We've turned the device on. We've got the glass stem in there with rolling papers folded into there to collect all the cannabinoids before it comes up the glass stem through this mouthpiece into my system to feed my endocannabinoid system and my receptors with cannabinoids. So that is a good way of making your own cannabinoid, cannabinoid infused papers, rolling papers, give that a go. And do, do try and invest into a dry herb vaporizer. I guarantee you a decent one like an Ariser. This is the Ariser Air. So the Ariser company, dry herb vaporizers, check them out. They are good standards. Also, stores in Bickle, if you want to spend a little bit more and get the stores in Bickle range or uh, the Mighty, the Mighty is a good one. Um, yeah, so this one, I'd say, the Ariser, I can swear by the Ariser, especially when my creativity came about once I stopped all my nicotine, all my pharmaceuticals, I gave everything up. Um, I wasn't zombified anymore. Uh, I gave up and the only thing that I was treating myself was with cannabis and applying the cannabis uh, balm on my ulcers so my doctors, uh, my nurses were so surprised that when I went to see them and I showed them my ulcer the nurses called the doctors in and not doctors came in and they said well what's happened how come you're what have you been doing I said what what do you mean that what do you mean what have I been doing what's going on so they said to me that my ulcers seem to have healed up a lot quicker than anything that they can prescribe me. Nothing they can prescribe me would heal up my legs as quick as that cannabis balm did. So they asked me what I was doing. So I said, I took in my dry herb vaporizer. I said, I'm vaping my um, cannabis. I'm consuming it through capsules. I'm applying it in a, um, as a balm onto my uh, around my house so I took in the cannabis balm that was done by Hempress Rising at the moment I'm using one from Farmers Flaves which is also providing me re you know regeneration of the skin tissue is what is how the medical terminology how the my medical professionals have put it that the what this balm is doing is that it's providing the ulcer to heal up with regeneration of the skin tissue so the ulcer is filling up becoming smaller and smaller and the depth of it is becoming smaller and smaller so uh, they said to me that um, my previous ulcers uh, took five and a half years to heal up that was my last ulcer of how long it took now using consuming cannabis just cannabis no pharmaceuticals no tablets no morphine no more amitriptyline mirtazapine tramadols no more of that all clean just using cannabis and applying the cannabis balm and changing my diet um to more um vegetables and more fruits um putting the sugars out so you know uh trying out a vegan diet so that helped with my uh, weight loss as well um, but going back to the point is that it's changed the quality of my life on a daily basis and it helps me improve so the doctor said to me that my previous ulcers have taken five and a half years to heal up but this time it's taken just under four and a half months to heal up so five and a half years compared to four and a half half months that is a big difference and they my medical professionals my doctors and nurses have told me 
that I've changed their opinion towards cannabis if they had not witnessed it stage by stage in my healing benefits um, and seen it with their own eyes they would not have even looked into it because obviously over here it's still illegal well it was illegal at the time but now it's uh, um, you know partially part of it's legal which is what I'm consuming um, so everything that I'm consuming is all legal um, and it's all grown from earth uh, mother earth or grown from the, gr from the ground and as you've seen oh this has been on and uh I've been talking away, as you can tell that um, I'm so relaxed and so much in my comfort zone, talking about passionately so much about something that I passionately believe in that's changed the quality of my life, so I'm so passionate about this that I could talk for ages. We know that we have an endocannabinoid system, uh, we have uh, two receptors. We have receptor one, which feeds our brain, and we have receptor two, which feeds our organs and the rest of our body. And these receptors, they intake the cannabinoids that we get from the cannabis plant, cannabis sativa L. So I put this on the middle. Uh, it's got blue settings. Then it goes up to white then it's green then it's red that's right yeah I almost forgot that's me getting medicated that's me gaining the therapeutic medicinal benefits from this enjoy the tabs on the exhale So much taste in there, so much flavor. For those of you that don't know about the dry vaporizers, you're missing out big time. This has changed my life and guaranteed it will change your quality of living as well. Because you get all the flavors from here, you get all the terpenes of the strain that you're consuming, whatever flower it is, and then um, whatever type of flower it is that you're in consuming, inhaling the vapors from. So, so terpy, I'm gonna go give it a go with the uh, bubbler. Enjoy the terps and the exhale. General Levy, check out General Levy if you don't already know General Levy. Big tunes, big UK artist, musician, big respect to General Levy. Big shout out General Levy. I think because we're using the dry herb and it's providing that heat that's coming through the heat va heated vapor it's lowered the level of the water in there so it's down to here from where it was up here so we're just going to top this off quickly where do I put it? there we go always good everything's natural in the water
So enjoy the turps on the XL. Oops, just switched off. So much flavour, so much flavour. Really, really enjoyed that. You see? So just tap that out. And that's the little puck. So as you can see, what you could also do is what I've got here is a little tin. Ouch. I touched the green. I touched the glass stem. I forgot it was hot. You see? Making mistakes myself. Learn from my mistakes. Don't touch the heated glass stem. <laughs> You'll burn yourself. So here I've got a collection of little pucks. So I'll just pop that into here. Perfect. So that bit from this process it can you can make butter out of it, can of butter. Uh, you can sprinkle it onto food, mix it in with your food. Because what it is is that it's food, isn't it? So you can eat it as it is, you can just take out the little piece and you can just munch on it. And take out this piece. And then what you do is put it into your mouth and you eat it because it's food and it's good for you. And I love the taste of it. Yum, yum, yum. Here you have four holes. Yeah. So in this part here is where you fill your flowers, your material, and then this has got the medicate. This has got the papers in it, the rolling papers. I'll show you the rolling papers. As you can see here. See the rolling papers on the inside. So what this does now is I shall tell you. Drag and twist. Drag and twist. So as you can see here, is that you can see the bottom part. So already become infused with cannabinoids right there, all that oiliness. Beautiful, beautiful medicine on there. So, this and wrap it like so. Then open it up and look this part here. So, as you can see, this is a king size slim. See, it's collected the medicine right here. The sticky part is here because it's folded up this way. See, we folded it backwards. So here's your whole paper here. Here's the sticky part. This is where I put my filter here. And this is the part that's going to become covered in the cannabinoids that you collect. So here's the process again. Got your smoking paper, fold the gun backwards, fold down where you want to put your filter, hits from your bone, hits from the bone, Cypress Hill, victim, then you fold up the bottom part, So that's what it looks like. So the rolling up part is actually on the inside. This is the outside part. Mm. Here it is. A magical tool. The rolling stick. Put that there. Where the gun part is. And roll it. 
like so. Then what you do is you get your glass stem for the ariser, for your dry herb vaporizer. Make sure that's up to the tip. Hold it there. Put that in there. And just give it a little shake. And all that's doing is spreading the rolling paper out on the inside to its full extent. You can see the four holes in the inside. So that's where all the cannabinoids are going to come up when your flowers are being decarbed. They're going to come up from here all the way collecting onto the can onto the rolling papers before it comes into your system into your mouth so that's the best way and that's how i came up with making my own cannabinoid infused rolling papers check it out then i use my little plastic mouthpiece that just happens to fit on top like so and then that with your flowers, we get some flowers. Give some flowers a go. Lovely, lovely flowers. Okay. We've got some brown flowers here that we are going to just fill up. Enjoy the tunes, hits from the bong, but we're getting hits from the vape, the dry herb vape. I suppose back in them days didn't really have a dry herb vapors or dry herb vaporizers around. That document that technology came after. So here we are, pop that in there. Some the blip. Yep. Now it's turned up, turning on, it's heating up, getting ready. So, how do you guys consume, ladies and gentlemen? How do you consume? Um, do you do dab rigs? Bongs, blunts, wraps, cigars. Let me know in the comments, please. I'd love to hear. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to comment about, please do. I'm always open to comments. It's lovely to know uh, subscribers that are watching and people are interested in your channel. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll bring you some more um, reviews of some more products. Uh, this one is about the dry herb vaporizer. For those of you that don't know about dry herb vaporizers, get into it because it is a life changer. It's a game changer. You, it, it will probably get you off consuming combusting through smoking spliffs with tobacco. It's one of those things you're trying to give up uh, smoking then the way forward is through a dry herb vaporizer and the Ariza the brand the Ariza company this is the Ariza Air um, you've got an Ariza Air 2 which comes with a digital screen so you can actually control the temperature as you like Now we've put this on red. This is the highest temperature we're going to give it a go on. So while that's heating up, let me show a little pouch that it comes with. So it comes with a little pouch here, and it's got two 